So now that our verification link is showing up correctly, let's make it do something. And before I do that, there's one other thing I want to do that's kind of cool. So I've just verified my account in this page, but then if I return to this page where I registered the account, it still shows the verify your account link until I reload. So this page doesn't actually know that my status has changed in this page. And the same is true if I log out and then log back in as Mark 8. So now I'm logged in as Mark 8, but this is show, still showing me logged in as Mark 9, even though I'm logged in as Mark 8. So I want to actually make all of these pages check um, every time the page gets a focus. And so that will make it look like they're all on the same page, so to speak. So what I'm going to do is in my navbar content, in my JavaScript for the ready functions, I'm also going to attach a focus event handler for the window. And so let's do that. So I'm going to get the window and on focus event, a function is going to get called. And that's just going to call update navbar. So now every time the window gets focus, it should update the navbar. And then I'm going to get rid of most of these tabs. And then I'll just go to the home page. And I'll log out. And then I'll sign up. Let's go mark 10. So now I'm registered as Mark 10 in this tab. I'm going to go to the email reader and click on the link to verify my account for Mark 10. That opens in a different tab, so now my account is verified. If I go back to the share page, it shows the same thing. And if I go back over here and log out and sign in to my Mark 8 account, and then return here, now it shows me Mark 8. If I log out over here and go back here, now I get the sign up and sign in link. So this will be consistent across pages. Now let's make the verification link do something. So I'm going to Go ahead and create a new account, mark 11, but I'm not going to verify my account yet. So if I log out and sign in, I should be able to sign in as mark 11. And it's still showing verify my account. So that's good. That means it's working. So first, let's go to our HTML. And I wanted to move this uh, verify link to the other side of, oops, that's my indentation. So I want to move this verification link to the other side of the username link. And then I want to make this clickable, this verify link. And then reload. And log out. Let's log in to Mark 11 again. So I get the verify your account link. And then when I click on this link, I want to load a dialog that um, confirms that, that I want to send email to the account. So let's go ahead and create one of those. And I'm going to start by 
copying, I'll start with the login content. And I'm going to refactor copy. And I'll call this verify confirm content. So I need loadable content. I need user. Um, I probably won't need any of this. I will need the email address, though. So let's go ahead and grab the email address. So I need a get email method in my user. And I already have the email in that private property there. So I just need to basically duplicate that. And that's going to be the email key, which I need to create. So here's the email key. And then anytime the email is set, I also want to make sure it gets stored in the session object. So I also need a set email. And then when the user registers successfully, I want to go ahead and set the email. And that's going to be this pointer email. And when the user logs in, same thing. And also when they verify their account. Okay, so now I should always have the email address in the session when the user is logged in or registered. And then I can use it in my verify confirm content. So the JavaScript is just going to have a verify confirm function. And get rid of all of that. Make a verify confirm dialog. And I'll keep all of this stuff the same. The OK and cancel functions are going to be a little different. So verify confirm dialog close. And then in this OK function, I'm just going to cut the code out for now. But this is going to actually use Ajax to tell the server to send the verification email. And then for the HTML, verify confirm dialog. And then just a piece of text, I don't need this error message, just a piece of text that explains that if they hit OK, we're going to send them email.
email will be sent to dollar sign email with your verification with a link containing your verification code. Please click that link to verify your account. Be sure to check your spam or junk folders if you don't see the super. Okay, so that's good enough for now. And then we don't need this field set. And uh, we don't need input or label or field set for this CSS. We'll leave the close bar off or close button off. And so that should be enough for testing for right now. I have to fill that part in. So back in the nav bar, if they click on the verify link, actually I called all these other ones buttons. So let's go ahead and make this verify button. And then everywhere where I refer to verify, that should be verify button now. Okay, and then I'm just going to copy this chunk of code. And this is the verify button. And we're going to show the dialog when they click on that. Actually, we want to load content. We should have started with this one. So I'm going to going to get rid of this. And I'm going to copy one of these that loads the content. So when they click the verify button, we're going to load Verify confirm content, and then the callback is going to be this verify confirm function. Which will show the dialog. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to reload. I'm going to log out. Sign up. So I have the verify your account link. Click that. Please click the OK button below to begin the verification process. Um, an email will be sent. So let me fix the text here. An email will be sent. Okay, and then I'm not getting the email correctly. So we need to make sure that this verify confirm is attaching to the session. So session start so that it can get the email. Let's try that again. Log out, sign in, mark 12. Verify your account. Good. So now it's showing the email address with the link containing your verification code. Please check that the link to please check, please click that link to verify your account. Be sure to check your spam or junk folders if you don't see the verification email soon. Okay, so that looks good. Cancel does nothing. 
And right now, OK doesn't do anything either. So we have to implement that next. 